Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I make fragrance videos. And today we have our top five fall fragrances for the men. So if you're interested, then just jump right into it. Sorry if my voice is a little bit raspy. I do have a little bit of a cold, but I hope you can still hear me well. Anyway, let's just get into the fragrances. I will start with a fragrance that I have mentioned many, many times in my videos. It's literally one of my top favorite fragrances for guys in the colder season you may or may not know the fragrance i'm talking about it is spice bomb extreme guys mm. oh this is such a love for me it is the most beautiful fall and winter fragrance it is so deep it's so sexy it's spicy you get a beautiful blend of vanilla tobacco, cinnamon. It is rich, it's deep, it's intense. This is a powerhouse of a fragrance. It projects a lot, it lasts really, really long, and it's just such an amazing, amazing fragrance, if you ask me. The combination of this vanilla and tobacco and cinnamon is just, oh, like, it is heaven for me, heaven. It's so, so attractive on a guy. It's it's a really cozy fragrance, but it's also sexy. It's amazing in the fall, especially when it's like really cold outside. This is the perfect fragrance because it's like, it warms you up. It's like sitting by a fireplace or something like that. It's like so warm and rich and deep. So I really, really love this fragrance. And I feel like this is something that the majority of people will like if they do like a strong vanilla scent because that's definitely the prominent notes in here are the vanilla and the tobacco. I still absolutely love this. I would even wear this myself occasionally. I couldn't even recommend it to women if you like a little bit more masculine fragrances that are kind of on the sweet, almost kind of gourmand side and spicy. So um, yeah, it is just amazing. 10 out of 10 fragrance for fall and winter, amazing. Second fragrance on my list is Oud Save the King by Atkinson's. This one has notes of Earl Grey tea, bergamot, suede, orris, agarwood, oud, and sandalwood. And this is just such a gorgeous and smooth fragrance. This one is the most smooth fragrance out of this list. Like, this is just beautifully blended. I really cannot imagine anybody disliking this fragrance. It's so well balanced. It's so deep and woody, but at the same time kind of soft, a little bit powdery. This has such a beautiful note of sandalwood. You do get a little bit of oud, but it's not like a skanky wood or anything. It's very, very pleasant. It's just like woody and deep and a little bit earthy. You get some powdery notes from the orris and you also get that a little bit leathery note from the suede, but this is not like a very strong or intense leather or you know like it's not like a dirty oud it's very very smooth it's super likable it is gorgeous i would say that this fragrance lasts very long as well but the projection is like more moderate it's not like a, a powerhouse it's not super strong but it's very pleasant it is long lasting it just doesn't project that much but like if i smell this on anybody i would be immediately think like wow this is an amazing, amazing fragrance. This person has a lot of taste, a lot of class. It smells elegant, it smells beautiful, it smells warm. If you're into sweeter, woodier, masculine fragrances, then definitely don't miss out on this one. It's absolutely beautiful. The third fragrance in the list is Givenchy Gentleman, the Eau de Parfum version, the one in the black bottle. That is my favorite out of the line. This fragrance has black pepper, lavender, and bergamot in the top. We have orris, cloves, and cinnamon in the middle, and we have vanilla, tolu balsam, tonka bean, benzoin, and patchouli in the base. And this fragrance uh, is so, so good. Another one that I find just, oh my god, it exudes elegance and class and style. Yeah, I feel like it's like that classic elegant gentleman fragrance i mean it's called gentleman but in this case it really is that kind of fragrance it's powdery it's sweet to my nose it's a little bit smoky it's a little bit woody you get the aromatic notes from the lavender it's also spicy but it's not as spicy as something like um spice from extreme this one is a little bit smoother, it's a little bit more toned down, which makes it more elegant. If you like Dior um, Intense, for example, 
I would say definitely check out the Givenchy Gentleman if you haven't already because I feel like it kind of gives up a similar vibe but I actually prefer the Givenchy Gentleman. It is just such an amazing fragrance and this fragrance you could wear for any occasion if you ask me. You could wear this in the daytime, you could wear this in the evening but I would just recommend it more for the colder season. I don't think this is a warmer season fragrance but in the colder season you could wear this for a date or you could wear it during the day. It's a very versatile fragrance like that and just amazing. I love it, I love it. Fourth fragrance in the list, we have Leighton Exclusive by Parfum de Marly. This one has notes of almond, mandarin orange, bergamot and watery notes in the top, civet, geranium, rose, gardenia and water lily in the middle. And in the base, you have guayac wood, oud, vanilla, coffee, sandalwood, patchouli, oak moss, amber and pink pepper. So loads of notes, this one. Um, if you know the original Leighton, this one is definitely quite different. This one is a completely different fragrance. Leighton is more of that kind of young, playful guy. Maybe it's more of a summery kind of fragrance. It's very flirty, it's very like happy. Um, it's very like party goer to me. This one is a little bit more mature, I would say. This one may be more for somebody that's like over 30, maybe over 35. This is a slightly mature fragrance, but I mean it in the best way possible. I just think it smells very classy, it smells very elegant. Um, it smells very woody, it smells very kind of dark, a little bit syrupy sweet as well. It is also a little bit spicy, but the feel I get from this is like a very dark, woody, woody, slightly animalic note to it as well. So I wouldn't recommend this for everybody. This is a fragrance that I think you have to like the style of fragrance and maybe it's also not for like the super young generation. Um, I, it's not really a blind buy in my opinion. This is not really safe for blind buying. So test this one out before you try it. But I think it's really, really amazing. I like this just as much as the original Leighton. And I think this one is the one to go for for fall and winter. It is just a really, really nice fragrance. And the next one on my list is Désir Toxique by M. Mikalev. And this fragrance has cardamom, bergamot and lemon in the top. You have tonka bean, cinnamon, cannabis and blackcurrant in the middle. And you have oak moss, benzoin, patchouli and musk in the base. So this fragrance is kind of both spicy and deep as well as kind of bright so i think this is especially good on those a little bit sunnier brighter fall days because you definitely get a kind of citrusy opening you do get the lemon you get the bergamot but you also get a lot of spicy notes in this one you have the cinnamon you have the cardamom and that definitely brings it for me anyway more into that fall winter category also a great date fragrance and this is also one that's very very strong and projects very well so this is amazing for when you want to be noticed when you want to be smelled and then as it dries down it becomes a little sweeter you get the benzo and you get the patchouli i do get a little bit of the moss as well i do not get any of the cannabis like if i wouldn't know this that this was in the fragrance i wouldn't know so don't be worried about that it's definitely not prominent at all i don't think this is something i would necessarily wear for the office i do think this is more evening appropriate due to kind of the complex nature of it and also due to the strength of it the performance i think if you like something like Layton or YSLY and you want something that's maybe a little bit more winter, fall appropriate, you want something that's a little bit deeper, a little bit spicier, but still has that kind of slightly fresh and citrusiness to it as well, then I think check out Désir Toxique. I think you won't be disappointed. It's a really good one. All right, guys, and that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you did like it. Please comment down below, which is your favorite fragrance for fall. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.